There is no meme. This is just a threat. Okay. So in between recordings, I accidentally attacked with the Orochi without meaning to. And then that didn't matter because Orochi's attack actually worked. So... Uh... Yeah. Sometimes God is good. I also realized that I initiated this, like, episode. Not entirely sure if I'm going to live. There's a very good chance that I start this episode and then immediately die. It's not a very likely chance, but it is way more likely of a chance than I want to admit. Now we can breathe easy. Yeah, sure. We can breathe easy. Sure. Somehow, I get the slightest suspicion that things are not going to go the way I hope. Maybe Sakura getting a good level up will reassure my doubts. I'm ready. Perfect. Uh, don't put her down there. Alright. Oh, wait. Um, Kaze is either going to dodge or have that happen. And then I know that that dude down there can't actually hurt him. Oh, okay, we're good. God is good. I mean, Jacob's going to be in a lot of pain, but he's been through worse. Never mind. Wow, that... Everything about this went literally as perfect as it could have. That's... sweet. Now, does accurately doing the this thing make the messed up stuff go away? Because I would greatly appreciate it if it did that. No, we're just stuck like this, huh? Cool. What in the hay are you, a killer axe? Alright. With the steel sword and just leaving Silas here, we should be fine. Yeah, because, like, Silas's defense should be... I mean, my goodness. Let's see, your attack is 28, 26. Yeah, I get the slightest... The slightest hint of a feeling that I'm going to be completely fine. Uh, Saizo. Why don't we switch with Mozu? Hmm. I really would like to be able to kill these things. But it looks like I'm not going to have that luxury without, like, ganging up on them. Hmm. Oh, right, hang on. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. The Steel Shuriken. I have Poison Strike. That... That should... Do enough damage. Or at the least lower his stats enough. That, yeah. Here we go. Alright. Never had anything to fear. Ninjas are a fair and balanced class. Now, let's just, um... Not rush... Anything into the golem's attack range. And we will be perfectly good to go. Let's just, let's just keep you over there. 
Um, sing. For you. Staff. Yeah, okay. We will be fine. We will live perfectly well. And this map, that I do still think is horse crap, will not conquer me. We will live this day. Hinoka, I appreciate it. But well, that dude only had a 36% chance of hitting. I'm pretty sure you're going to be fine. Well, looks like Silas stocks are starting to take off. You should have started investing a while ago. Uh-huh. All this little damage. Then, yep, perfect. And then Silas can finish you off. Okay. That was too close. It looks to me that in spite of this map's stupid design, I, why have everything boil down... <laughs> boil. Boil down to a 50-50. Like, that's so dumb. But anyways... We should be able to get out of here. Not before Citra shits itself, mind you. Alright, you're going to need... Jesus. The hell is causing it to lag so much? Alright, speed of 20, speed of 21. He's going to need... Yeah, he's going to need... More than what he has. Hmm. Let's see. The Silver Shuriken does do a lot of damage. But apparently this guy is the thing that needs to die. I say apparently, like... Kaze taking little damage from this is weird. He's the Dread Fighter. He fights the Dread. He's who they're singing about in the Persona 3 song. Level up for you. Leave it to yep, me. that sure is a level up. Level 7 Master Ninja, level 20... I don't know what's, like, bigger here. So I'm just gonna level up Saizo's Shuriken rank. That's what's important. Now, if Takumi could reach that guy, he'd definitely kill him. But can he? Yes. Yes, he can, I think. That might have been a colossal waste of time. It was not. I'm a genius. I know exactly what I'm doing at every point in my life. I'm never wrong. Die already. Now, do I even want to attempt to fuck with the rest of this map? Yes. Because I'm fairly certain that I can just use Saizo and Kaze and the combination of Poison Strike and, um other to just end the map. Or, I could be subjected to more suffering on this mortal coil. I don't know which I want to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's taking damage. Okay. Okay. Get over there, you get over here, you get up here, and, uh, separate, you get over here, separate, alright, now you, we're gonna do the old switcheroo, 
Oh my god, you're dying. Someone should, uh... Should stop you from dying. That sounds like a pretty good idea. A steel Yumi? That's not too particularly threatening. Don't gotta worry about that right yet. Uh, people slowly being burned alive because the floor is quite literally lava? That does sound like a concern. Not a very big one, but a concern. So... Oh, with the Bolt Naganaga, she does 28 damage. Just, and then theoretically... That would be third... That would kill. I am fairly certain that I can just leave right now. Because that'll be... I mean, I'll need to fully heal her. But that will be 28 damage. And then this... Will be 20 damage. Plus, yeah, plus poison strike. And this is a kill boss map. Yes, okay. I am going to pull a hot and sexy maneuver called getting the flying fuck out of here. Um, let's see. At 28 HP, she would live. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is just in case, right? Just in case my math is somehow off. Switch, attack, steel shuriken. Saizo might just get the double crit, and none of this matters. Oh? No, okay. Well, if it was in doubt before, it is definitely no longer in doubt. Aha! We have put the floor becoming lava in order to detract fly skipping. I'm flying. What makes you think I'm playing by the rules? Alright. That's a cock tease and a half, but who cares? That map was dumb. That map was very dumb. Hey. But it's over with. And honestly, it's like the first miss that I can think of. What? Yes. What was that? Yes. Um. Right, okay. Huh? This takes us directly to Windmire. Interesting. And then, um. Windmire is where we meet Elise. And then, uh, Shura. And that's about it. Takumi. Uh, listen. Alright. We have yes. no spies. We are all good people. No one is ever evil. We are all good. That chapter was just pure filler in every single sense of the word. Nothing relevant to anything happened in it. All right. Which is fine, you know? Alright, so I cannot upgrade a puppet to plus three. But I can upgrade the rod shop. What does this do for me? But it's upgraded. You know what, Lilith? You deserve this single grain of rice. No, it's a jelly-filled donut. Okay. Munch on up. And here we go. Cool. Thank you for the money that I definitely need. You know, my pockets are just so loose. Let me go be friends with Silas. Right, they were going out on a trip to recall their lost youth. No, it's to where they wanted to go. Okay, never mind. Listen, we're gonna go on a trip with Silas around the world and discover that the true treasure is the friendship we had all along.
This is kind of neat, actually. Like, Corrin being so secluded that they just... Anything. Anything at all is what they want. Even something as basic as trees and a food stall. They just want to see it. I like that. I like that. Good support. Talk to me, baby. Speak to me. Um, yeah, that's right. Takumi is cold and distant. Okay, this is nice. I actually... Takumi is my favorite character across all routes. His skepticism is believable. Um, I don't know why they make him suffer so goddamn much. But he's just good. Takumi is consistently a good character. I, his standoffish nature made some people not really like him when the game first came out. But I think the general perception to Takumi has warmed up with time. Like, most people realize, yeah, he's a cool guy. Right, the letter thing. Um, he's playing therapist. Uh-huh. Got it. Kaze is playing therapist. Cool. I learned I learned why they aren't really A plus supports. So doing that, that didn't actually do it. If I remember what I read correctly, I had to do it from both sides. I made Saizo A plus with Kaze, not Kaze A plus with Saizo. That sounds really dumb. Because it is. Now, how does this support work? Jacob just shows up, talks shit, and leaves. Understandable. How does this one go? Right, Kagero's horrifying painting. We haven't seen any supports about that much, about that yet. The joke is that Kagero is trying to just draw regular things... And she's making abstract horrors beyond our comprehension. I don't remember if Kagero is aware that her paintings are that terrible. I think she's only mildly self-aware, but I can't remember. Uh, pour one out for the Corrin sexual. Okay. So I cannot acquire, um, Yukimura yet. But I can acquire Kagero into my bedroom. Fates makes a man say strange sentences. I'm not petting your face. Leave. Is that enough for marriage? is inviting you over to my room, saying nothing to you, and then asking you to leave. And I can relax a moment. For you. Thank you. How about relaxing for several moments? Long enough so I can get Kana's chapter, and then go home. Nope. Okay. I don't even like Kana that much. Why am I trying so hard? Oh, God. Oh, poor Rinka, I gave you a Subaki support. What have I done? Maybe he won't be an insufferable douche in this. Um, you pushed on and pursued enemies, quite going for a distance. Um, it was dangerous. All right. So, nah, this, this is fairly stand. Okay, there's Subaki being a douche. Um, right, my tactics are beyond reproach. Jesus Christ, dude, you're not Inez. You're not, you can't pull off the cocky asshole. Well, he did realize he was wrong and went to apologize, that's something. Oh, that's right! Candace nut fit in your mouth, I... Hinoka, go beat the shit out of her. I wish the recruitable bosses had personal skills. Or if not personal skills... They had some kind of base skill 
that their class line couldn't normally get. Like if Candace somehow had Wary Fighter or something. Not that that would be very good on her, but you get what I'm saying. All right, let's let's go to the rod shop. Um, Jacob, 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 Jacob. Oh, his thing already broke. All right, let's get him the Sun Festal. Then, uh, does anyone else need staves? You're good. You're good. Sakura's good. I'm good. Wait, is where by Dragonstones and I just haven't done that? Well, it is, but none that helped me. Oh, hello, stat boosters! Hey, hey, hey! Isn't this interesting? Wait, where's all those- where's all them gold bars? Where- seven? Oh, that does not get me anything. I for I was making such a big deal about the dragon herbs, and I just forgot to use them. Alright, who would like every single stat of theirs increasing? Kagero? What kind of fucking question is that, now that I think about it? Who wouldn't want every single stat of theirs increasing? Congratulations, it will be you. Who could use an upgrade in their, um, equipment? I could... Use it on Kagero? Yeah, I think she could definitely use that arm scroll. And now she can use the Spy Shuriken for three range damage. And I could also give her a better bow. Perfect. Now I can get two more arm scrolls. Both of your things are very close to increasing, so I'll just level them up naturally, and then if I really want to give you A rank, uh, just do that. Um, I could max out Silas's sword rank. Don't I have an A rank sword? Ah, uh, the Venge Katana. Which really synergizes with him. Because, um, with his high bulk, losing all that avoid won't matter. He'll just eat the hit and then strike back with a butt ton of damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. oh we're cooking with gas, baby. Hi, welcome. Convoy, I would like one of them arm scrolls. And then I'll think about what I want in terms of, like, the damage. All right, Silas. You learn to read. And now that you can read... Isn't that... Isn't the Venge Katana, like, basically just a better Steel Sword? I mean, the Avoid minus 20 in exchange for not losing speed. Sure. And then if he actually stands chance to take damage, I'll give him the Guard Naginata. Perfect. All right. Now, I can increase anyone's strength by two. Which is kind of nice. What did Tsubaki's Pike do again? Ah, skill. 26. Right, right. It's, it's good lance. Um, and my magic units have enough magic. I could continue in having Orochi ingest speed wings, but I think that's a lost cause at this point. Just give her even more magic and let her work with that. Give Rinka more strength? Sure. Hi, well Obero, give me more power. Ba -ba -bum. Energy drop. Thanks. Perfect. Now I'm poor. My poor ass. I do not want to go to the hot spring. I'm not coming. Corin, put your clothes back on. Inventory. Where is she? Rinka! Energy drop! Alright. With all of that, it is time. This is the Shura map. Right. The map where we get Shura. 
sure as math. Man, we're almost done. If I remember correctly, there are 27 chapters? Is Kana's paralogue even going to be possible at this point? Because if I remember correctly, Kana is under attack. And now everything's going to be scaled up in level and Kana's still just going to be level 20. Alright. This is... We go... Don't we go underground or something? I think. I don't remember. What? <sighs> Woods of the Forlorn. How the trees arched. Soak up a bit of light. Food, resources, even light are limited. Yeah, nor fucking sucks. Wow. Huh? That's right. Could it be that the secret to world peace is sharing the abundance so that no man goes hungry? That's crazy, Ryoma. You're a goddamn communist. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good little scene for Silas there. They didn't need to give him that. Hey, Ashura. Huh? <laughs> right. I do like how if you didn't know any better, Shura would 100% look like a villain. Right, that, right, okay, sure is the boss here. Right, right, right. And he joins after the map, and then we meet Elise. Right, okay. That's Ballista. Oh, there are Ballista everywhere. Okay. So, uh... Might want to be a wee little bit careful with... Deploying Hinoka and Mozu. Alright. Hey, I actually have enough for one of the child units? Okay, which child? Um. I. Midori! Congratulations, you're on the team! <laughs> Congratulations! What the hell is Profiteer? Gain a gold bar on each of the unit's first seven turns. Right! This is how you make money! Do we have an Iron Naginata that's not in use? We sure do. Um, do we have a better bow for you that's not in use? We sure do. Good for follow-up attacks with repentant... Oh my god, right. The bow that makes you take your clothes off. God, that weapon's gross, but that is six damage plus six effect... Like, that's pretty good. God, that weapon makes me feel gross for its existence. I'm here to play Fire Emblem, not Queen's Blade. Okay. Dragon Spirit? Ooh. Skill, defense, effective. Oh, halves match. God damn it. Fate's weapons. Okay. Um, I'm assuming the objective is route. Yep. Wow. Uh, route map? Okay. So, with all of this established, let's start by putting Kaze. Where's Kaze? Where is he? Right here. Um, Silas can still be right there. I think most of how this is laid out is fine. Like, but to start off, I definitely, definitely want to, um, take these guys out down here. I do not need the experience of dealing with- YES! Give me the money. I do not need the experience of dealing with fire blasts from behind. I do not need this. 
I do not want this. So we are not going to deal with it. Um, Silas, how well do you do here? Alright, 17. And then I guess we have Hannah strike with the Kadachi. And then through you two teaming up, that this maid will be dead. Okay, why does Shura have maids? Like, I get the Norian army having maids, but Shura, you run a bandit group. Why are you dressing women in maid outfits? Weird ass fucking dude. Alright. Exactly enough damage, this is hot. Excellent. Hannah, what do you got for us? <laughs> Fine by me. We do not need that Bloom Festal. Um, on account of the bows up above there, let's just have these folks fly down here and we'll clear out the mages. And it might be back to old reliable. The Blowjob Brothers will strike yeah. once again. But first... It does not really even matter what I do here. Hinoka is a beast! Okay, use your Finn Bullvetter. I never learned how to pronounce that. Use the Ice Magic. And now... We'll just turn on ye old damage range. Okay, is it just these axe people? Okay, yeah, it's the axe people. Got it. Let's, um, zoom back in. Okay. So, let's start right here. With the killer axe. Your defense of 24. Oh. Okay. We might need to pair you up. Defense of 24. That's 17. 19. That kills, but if it becomes 15 and... Oh, that still kills. Oh, jeez. Alright, no, but not with Jacob and Sakura. And while we're here... Let's give you a little bit of speed, luck, and all that other stuff. Jacob's damage lowering ability. Sakura's damage lowering ability. I should have rallied luck there. That's entirely my fault. Saizo can go be an asshole, and somehow that will be helpful. Alright. I'm fairly certain... Oh, no, I, I was wrong. I thought it would be enough. I was off by one. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. That was Kaze, right? The target's luck stat? That was a 15% chance. Oh! That... That's pod racing, baby. Alright. Um... You're both of equal level, so let's just do this. The holy hell. Kaze, baby. Oh, I forgot about the spy shuriken. The whole reason that I made her a rank in shurikens. Why is her speed so poor? Like, I know that this class has less speed than, um... Than other classes of its nature. 
but I'm fairly certain it still has speed. And also that Kagero is naturally very fast. Whatever. I got bailed out by good luck. It is not my place to judge. Now, I do definitely need to make sure that I run up and kill this guy, probably with Kaze. Because if I don't... I am definitely going to, uh... Like, Mozu is definitely going to die. However, I did just realize, doesn't this put... Azura directly in harm's way. Oh, not if I kill all the witnesses. Alright, never mind. We're fine. Azura, go directly to the front of the action. Okay, so now that I think about it again, if Kaze can't one-round this person, alright. Come back next episode for the thrilling conclusion of Does Kaze Miss a 99%? Place your bets now, everyone. Place them now.